What's happening y'all? Rich Sosa coming back at you with another video today and with this one I'm going to be going over every single attribute and badge requirement in NBA 2K25 on an NBA 2K24 build. Now I'm going to be showing you exactly what you should be expecting, which badges that you will acquire with this build template going into NBA 2K25. So yes, everything that you're going to be seeing on screen today will be the badge requirements of NBA 2K25's My Player Builder. So this one today, I'm telling you, we are in for a special treat. I'm going to be calling this one the Potential Lockdown Defending Shooter, also known as a Lockdown Defender. So as for this build today, you will be able to acquire the Legend Glove Badge on the red tier. And out of all NBA players, I'm telling you, this one is going to be reminding me of a few. Easily one of the best small forwards that you can use as a template moving forward into the new year. So before we move any further, I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Thank the Lord above King Jesus for another day and another opportunity. Comment down TG for thank God and where you're tuning in from and I'll definitely be sure to reach back to you with a response And if it's your first time coming through be sure to hit that sub button if you're new Smash that like button turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family Now let's go ahead and dive into the creation of today's build So the first thing we're doing is putting this one under the small forward position Now when it comes towards a lockdown defender in NBA 2k25 next year I'm looking to go anywhere from 6'5 all the way up to 6'8 for this exact build today I'm actually going to leave this at 6'6 as for that weight Let's go with 250 pounds and then for that wingspan, I'm going to put this to 7-1. Now from here, we should be set to move forward with today's build. And remember, all of the attributes that I'm putting on this template will be able to be used in the next NBA 2K25. You're going to be able to acquire the badges that I do mention throughout the video. And I'll be sure to go through them once we complete this build maxed out to 99 overall. So the first area that I do want to dive into will be from the top down. As for that close shot, move this all the way up to a 58. Once we get into the driving layup, I'm going to go with a 78. As you can see, when it comes towards that driving dunk, I'm going to go with an 87. And then moving into the actual standing dunk, leave this at a 32. So I'm going to come back to get into these badges that we do acquire for NBA 2K25. Getting into the mid-range shot, put this all the way up to a 70. As for that three-pointer, I'm going to go with an 85. Moving into the free throw, I don't want this to be low. I'm going to go with an 80. And this is what we should be looking like for this side of the ball. Now for that pass accuracy, I'm going to go with an 82. And what makes this build very special, not only do we get extra attributes to work with in NBA 2K25, but you will be able to get a 90 ball handle on this build. Now for that speed with ball, go with a 75. From here, let's check out the defense. So for that perimeter end, I'm going to go with a 73. Moving into that steal, max this all the way up to a 99. Now, as you can see, we do have a whole lot of potential already. Leave that speed at a 70, 55 when it comes towards your acceleration, 60 as for the strength. This is going to be super important for certain badges, 75 when it comes towards our vertical. And then for the rest of the build, throw these attributes into that offensive rebound. Now look, I know it looks different from an NBA 2K25 build. I know I definitely would throw more into the physicals and defensive end. But let me get into the actual build breakdown to show you exactly what I'm talking about for these badges. So the first badges that I'm going into is going to be the playmaking. As for unpluckable, in NBA 2K25, all you need anywhere from an 80 up to a 90 when it comes towards getting this badge on gold for unpluckable. As for lightning launch, we will be able to acquire this. All you need is a 75 speed with ball. Getting into the pass accuracy, we will be able to acquire Dimer. Now based off the 2k information that we have received on badges, all you need is an 82 for Dimer. And then getting into the handles for days, all you need is a 90 ball handle. And we're going to be able to get this on the gold tier. Now for ankle assassin, you do need an 86 ball handle. We get a 90 right here. The height requirement may change the tier of badge that we do get this on. So for the next one, we unlock break starter, getting an 82 pass accuracy. And another badge that I really like will be versatile visionary. And then we also unlock that at an 82 pass accuracy. Now getting into the next set of badges, I'm going to check out the finishing. So when able to get Leia Mixer, we need at least a 78 ball handle. Perfect right here. Getting into the next batch, Fearless Finisher. All you need is a 55 strength or you can go ahead and pick between the close shot and driving layup. 68 for the close shot or a 70 driving layup and we got that right here. So we'll be able to get Fearless Finisher on the bronze tier. 
ask for float game to get it on silver you need anywhere from a 75 to an 85 when it comes towards that driving layup and then as far as when it comes towards posterizer we actually will be able to get it on this build you need an 87 driving dunk with a 75 vertical and i'm pretty sure we will be able to get some contact dunks now remember this is based off of the 2k my player trailer also the information that we have got from the 2k discord mike wang and a lot of the 2k devs now getting into the next batch when it comes towards area wizard all you need is an 87 driving dunk and we got that perfectly right here now of course the vertical will take into account on this as well and as far as for physical finisher we actually unlock this badge so you need a 60 strength perfectly hit right here as you get into that layup you need a 70 and we have a 78 for off ball pass getting into the defensive end we need at least a 73 perimeter defense we unlock it here same thing when it comes to bronze challenger i'm pretty happy about that now once we get to the next set of badges this is where things get pretty overpowered we get legend interceptor as well as glove now i'm assuming on interceptor because to get glove on the legends here you need a 99 when it comes towards that steal it's already been confirmed by the 2k devs and i'm really optimistic to say that i think you can even get interceptor on the same tier now when it comes towards getting clamps all you need is a 73 perimeter defense and a 71 steel we got both of these right here and the speed i think i'm telling you in the next 2k we're definitely gonna have some extra attributes to work with and this is one area that i would put it towards as far as for glove we also get that on the legends here getting into pick dodger all you need is a 73 perimeter defense as for these shooting badges this is where things get even more special now to get shifty shooter you need to at least be under 6'11 and have a rating for your shooting anywhere from a 75 to an 82 and we hit that perfectly right here. As far as for the next batch set shot specialist you need anywhere from a 75 to an 82. Perfect in my opinion and my favorite batch today has definitely got to be limitless range on the bronze tier unlocking this with an 85 three point shot. As far as for the final badge, you also will unlock Silver Deadeye. Now something that I think everybody needs to take into account. If you're thinking about cap breakers, you can realistically drop your steel a few picks down, put it into a different area to try to get more badges. We're very limited with the information that we do have on NBA 2K25 badges, but I'm telling you, this is pretty much everything that you should be looking and using moving forward. Realistically, this is only a template, so I could only imagine in NBA 2K25, we should have just about more attributes to be able to fit them into the physicals and make this build look even better. I wanna know your true thoughts and opinions on this one today. Is there anything that you would possibly do to change or make it a little bit better? I'm very happy when it comes towards that 99 steal. Even when it comes towards the playmaking, you can consider this to be an on-ball defender that can really be an offensive threat. So from here, let's move forward to make sure that everybody made the build correctly. We should be able to get these three different comparisons and together, we have created what I'm naming the potential lockdown defender for NBA 2K25. Now, I just want to say thank you for sticking around. If you have any type of questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I will definitely be sure to go into explanation on anything you have a question on. Now, look, before we get out of here, we always got to give praise to the Most High. Thank you, God, King Jesus, for another day and another opportunity. Bless you. Bless this channel and everybody listening to the sound of my voice. And I want to say thank y'all for the support. And if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. And last but definitely not least, with all that being said though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.